question. I mean, whatever is going on for each and every one of you, that's it's a people feel it's a personal question. It's actually a global question. So questions brilliant. You you it's funny because you know, they've said this before, your soul signed up to be with your family and, you know, as a child and also signed up to be with your family members that you have now in your life. So if something has come up for you in this vulnerability at the moment, just like what I was saying before with myself, with, you know, I unexpectedly, something happened and, you know, I had a very vulnerable moment and I went back to my five-year-old self and I was rocking myself on my bed and I was crying. I was like, what the hell? And it brought something up. And this is what's going to happen right now. There's going to be the vulnerabilities that maybe might not have been dealt with um, from families that we've been brought up in and how we might be maybe the escape go in a family. And now maybe you might be playing the same role as an escape go, you know, all the blame onto you as might have happened as a child or had the same thing of the drama that goes on around in a family. Now, for it to come up right now, it's meant to come up right now because it's the, it's really, they're saying to me, it's about your voice being heard and the strength like a lion. This is what they're bringing to me. So it's about now, and that feels uncomfortable, I know, because I'm, I'm answering this for a particular person. I know this is going to be for other people as well. But, you know, what, what do you do when something's, making you feel so uncomfortable in your family and it's like what do you do i mean i'm going for a similar situation and you know i my voice is not being heard and it's like oh my god i know that i need to do my voice but when i sat with spirit over the weekend it was like self care what is it that you can do right now for you to help you because it feels like other people's opinions are not going to change in your family setup they are who they are this is how they think and this is how they see and i'm being told it's because normally because of fear and if something's brought up it's like it then puts them in the limelight that they will have to actually uh, say their truth as well that they are really scared and you know their beliefs whatever it's like if you think at the moment on the planet you know i've said this before if we, we're talking about the subject that's been going on on the planet this last year year and a half two years and it's really divided the planet totally it's divided us from our loved ones and we might be the only one in our whole family that might feel something totally different it's brought up fear and just as, you know, they were saying a little while ago, it's about the structure, the structure of a family, structure of a business, structure of the organisations one might work for, the structure of a country that's being led by governments and everything else. Of course, it's fearful. People feel very fearful. It's brought up the most vulnerable bits for them right now. So timeline wise, I and mean, it's absolutely impossible to give you a timeline. That what I have been given is that it's going to be a roller coaster of events. October 2021 doesn't feel comfortable either moving forward because there's going to be overturning and there's going to be structural changes if I look as we go into next year again but what I can tell you is there feels more like an uprising of the voice that some people will have to step out and say what they have to say what is going on for them their heart of hearts which they know is to be true even though the rest of the family might not agree or anybody else might agree with them. And this is the time to find the like-minded people around you that you can communicate with that you're going to get your strength from. And it may be that you have to sort of, you know, put up your boundaries around you like your golden egg from the energetic perspective, as in, you know, they are fearful, that is their business. They need to sort themselves out. But how do, you know, and I've just heard, you know, one of my guys just said, well, how do you coexist within your family when this is going on? This is the battleground at the moment. And this is, they, they're going to come to realisation. Like the rest of the planet, there will be a realisation and everyone's going to go, oh. And when they have that realisation, that in itself will create conflict because others will realise everything that we've been told. Some of this is a pack of lies because of fear. But we can't tell those in our family there's no point in having that confrontation in a sense it's about looking more at what's going on for you internally and to sit with 
what's been brought up to the surface right now for you and how do you personally deal with it? It's like, you know, how are you going to manage it? And what they're saying is, you know, is to sit with it, is to feel it, is to, to work through how it feels in comfortability and chase it back. Where are the links? Where did the links come from? You know, why, you know, are you feeling what you're feeling? And to unfread all that. Now they're saying just being aware of, you know, a feeling that might have come from, you know, our childhood, our family setup in itself by being aware that helps you. Now, I, you know, on Friday when this happened to me, I had to almost sort of work backwards. I, I'll explain. So, and I've used this before. The, the stacking doll, the Russian doll that we have here, that was me. But when my feelings and emotions come up the other night, you know, in the evening, if I'm looking back at the layers of myself, different age groups, it was going back and I was chasing it back. Where does this come from? Why am I feeling like this? What's happening? I'm a therapist, you know, I should know this, but I'm human too. I'm going to have all that as well. And it was my younger self. And, you know, this was to me represented my five-year-old self. And I had to sit with my five-year-old self and I had to say to her, you're okay. You're okay. I'm here for you. I'm holding your space for you. And I had to go back. It was very painful and this is what they're saying if you can send some <sighs> lightenment sort of some words of wisdom something to sort of say you're okay i can hold your space for you and that's what i had to do you know the 50 year old therapist psychic medium mother daughter sister partner whatever it is i had to turn around and sit with my five-year-old self and say I've got you, I'm holding you, I'm supporting you. Because nobody else was gonna do it right at that moment. So it's about working with your sensitivities right now. It's about where is it coming from, sitting with yourself, you know. And then, you know, for me, I knew that I needed then to talk to, you know, some friends, some like-minded people that I knew that I have in my life. And when I sat with them on Sunday and I had lunch with them, it really helped. I could be Anne, the Anne with the wounds, and I think that's the most important thing right now is not to be isolated with it. It's about reaching out to others who can sit with you and hold your space with you as well. The other thing is, it's like listening to my guides, they just sort of said, the reason this is happening is so that we have a better place on your planet. And it has to be that the sensitive, those who are sensitive, that this is going to be that time where it is so sensitive for you that it's sort of almost unbearable but it will enhance your intuit intuition, your psychic abilities. It will enhance it even more because of how you're going to connect. I mean, I have said this recently. It's about, you know, my guides have said at some point there's going to be this where the world is going to communicate in a different way. You know, telepathically, you're going to com communicate with each other. So, you know, even now, you know, when we think about friends or family members, you know, they call us or next minute we have a phone call. Well, they're really implying to me, this is what's going to happen on the planet. This is why we're having the sensitivities right now. It's so that, you know, you won't need those electronic devices that can be, you know, tapped into and listened to. It'll be more telepathically, you'll be able to communicate with those. So if you bring that sensitivity up so much, really make it sensitive, your heart, if you look through your heart center, work with that tool, always bring it to the heart you know, the telepathic side of things, that's going to change, that's coming forward, because that's what they're showing me. Now, it, this is going to be going on for the next couple of years. So it's like there will be those moments like a roller coaster ride where some months will be easier than others to give you a break. But it, this is a change that, you know, 2025, I keep being told and shown, you know, I did a, a, a sound bath a couple of years back with uh, um, Olaf from the College of Psychic Studies and I said to him at one of the sound baths a couple of years ago, I said, oh my God, I mean, show like an apocalypse. And I gave him the date and this was the date. It was, you know, it was predicted, but I didn't know how it was going to be shaped or form. So, but this is, a, it will be a good thing. It will be to our advantage as, you know, the whole of humanity will be changed through this. So there, there is an advantage. There is a good thing, a positive thing, but we just need to ride it out while this is happening.